Welcome to Baby Reviews, and um, we've come to a place called the Thirsty Bear for no other reason than the fact that it has bear in the title. Oh, and also that they actually brew their own beer. Um, they look brewed up here in uh, downtown uh, San Francisco. Um, they've been around for a few years by the looks of it, um, by what it says in menus and stuff, um, and they're the only organic, certified organic brewery in San Francisco as well. So all the beers are organically grown barley and hops and so and such forth. Um, we've got um, one of the taster plates, and we didn't realise it was going to be literally nine beers worth of tasters, um, but it is nine beers worth of tasters, so you're going to have to bear with me as we uh, ramble our way through. Do a bit of, yeah, mummy's not looking happy. Um, we'll be as quick as we can, so I've got a menu here as well to try and see what they are as well. So I'll we'll head to the first one, this is their pills now, it's called the Polar Bear Pills, it's just a bohemian style, it's a nice crisp looking kind of straw, wheaty coloured beer, um, lots of carbonation in the glass on the nose. It's, it's definitely got the kind of um, classic floral note you kind of usually assume with the pills now. But it's got a little bit of cheesiness to it, I'm not going to lie, it smells a little bit cheesy I'm afraid, so we'll try it. Yeah, it's got nuttiness, it's got that sweetness, it's got that typical pills there, um, kind of malt thing. But then it gets a bit cheesy I'm afraid, the hops just taste a little bit. It's definitely grassiness, it's definitely some floral notes, but it's a little bit cheesy, I'm afraid. So moving on, if I remember rightly, yeah. So this is the um, Panda Bear Ale. This one's a weird one, in a cool way, I suppose. It's golden ale with um, organic cocoa nibs and vanilla. Um, you might be wondering why it's quite a light colour, but it is. It's a golden ale instead. A little bit more of a haze on this one. Um, and it's a little bit darker colour. It's definitely much more of a golden. So on the nose, it's so surreal. It, it just smells like a... Um, it smells like a hot chocolate, really. It smells like cocoa. And it's definitely vanilla in there as well. Yep, yeah, cannot deny it. You cannot deny it. So cheers, let's give it a try. <laughs> it's like an alcoholic, kind of slightly less chunky uh, hot chocolate. It's really surreal, but it's kind of kind of nice. I kind of like that. It's definitely different. Definitely different. Um, yeah, so moving on, we've got the uh, Valencia Wheat. A Belgian inspired white coriander and orange pill beer. Oops, there you go. That's a bit fun. Um, this one again is a very straw colour. It's, it's probably the lightest of the ones we've had so far. On the nose. If you really, really do give a good draw on it, you can smell an amount of citrus, but the aroma is quite damp to muted, so cheers. Yeah, that's a pretty. You know, this is down the Blue Moons and, and all that sort of beer. It's got a similar sort, of, similar sort of profile. Crisp, very clean, coriander, yeah. Um, definitely get a bit kind of the, the wheat ale um, yeast in it as well. Nice, crisp, easy drinking, very sessionable, um, very good. Yeah, pretty cool. Right, moving along. Um, next one up is the Brown Bear. Oh, 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 oh Brown Bear? No, that's not Grizzly Bear. Bear. No. Right, yeah, brown bow, which is now called the Grizzly Bear. Um, this is a Hobby American Red Ale. Uh, unsurprisingly, it is dark amber in colour, um, kind of like ready colour. Um, so on the nose, it's got a certain amount of toastiness on it. And then an undercurrent of, of this kind of slight citrus note. I'm definitely getting the multi aromatic salt flavours from whatever kind of brown malts they're using it, uh, Belgian aromatics, and like that. So cheers. It's toasty, it's nutty. There's definitely a bitterness behind it, and it's, it's kind of complementary citrus, it doesn't overpower the kind of nutty flavours and things that kind of win over. Again, pretty nice, I like that. Next up is the ESB, um, the Maya ESB. It's very caramel, probably four hops and nitro conditions. So, this is nitro, yeah, and you can tell by the head on it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a dark copper colour, not too unsimilar to an English kind of brown best bitter. So, on the nose on this one. I, I get a lot of nuttiness on this actually. Nuttiness and quite grassy, uh, one of its noble hops. Um, so cheers, let's give it a try. And I get English ale yeast, like I'm apples and pears flavour that I always get with an English ESB sort of style beer. Um, the nitrogen really helps it taste like it's been on, on cast dispenser or on cake dispenser, I like that, it's pretty cool. Um, it tastes like, tastes like a pint of 
best beer back in England. For me, that's not my thing, but it is for some. And it's very good at doing that. Right, we'll move on to the next one. This is the uh, Howard Street IPA. Um, so again, it's quite a, quite a light coloured beer, light copper coloured. Um, this one's a little bit hazy as well. So on the nose. Oh, it's dank as anything. It is very, very, very weedy. Cool, so cheers, let's give it a try. And again on the plate, it's very weedy as well, really dank. Quite piney and resinous. And I'm not getting as much of a kind of sweet citrus or any of the tropical notes, it's just very dank and very piney. Um, it's quite smooth on the end though, it's not a particularly bit of finish. It just kind of stays in the mouth for a while, so that's quite cool. Um, next up is the, the Kozlov Stout. Uh, natural conditioned again, as you can tell by the head on it. So, on the nose, oh, I should mention it's black if you can't see. <laughs> on the nose, lots of roasted molds, kind of an oatmeal smell. It's quite creamy as well. So, cheers. Yeah, roasty and quite dry actually. A little bit of toasting, nuttiness in it as well. Again, the nitrogen dispense really helps it kind of emulate cask um, conditioned beers. Gives it a nice mouthfeel, very, very, very smooth. Yeah, pretty cool as well. And on to the two um, seasonal ones. We've got a 3.3% um, sort of session beer. Um, it's meant to be quite bitter, quite my food is what she said to us. Um, very similar mobile, I suppose, to many of the beers. It's that kind of light copper colour. On the nose. Really give it a good draw, there's a bit of grey fruit on it, but it's not very aromatic if I'm totally honest. So cheers. Cheers. Um not getting a huge amount actually. It's quite a slight bit tart and um very watered down citrus flavour. But it is quite watery, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, not too sure about one. I don't know what they're going for, but again, I go away. Seems like in when they go low ABV, it just never seems to turn out. And this final one here is, is, a, is a, a light barley wine. Um, very hazy, very, very hazy. Hazy as we've seen so far. Um, a little bit of spritz on it. So on the nose on this one. It almost has a kind of quality of a Belgian triple or something. Sweet like caramels, that fly really likes this glass. Sweet like caramels, kind of candy sugar aroma. So it's quite Belgian really. So cheers. It's definitely thick. Definitely got some caramel sweet, but it's really kind of like um, cherry fruity flavours in it as well. And a lot of candy sugar sort of um, taste to it too. But it's got a nice thick body and it's quite smooth and easy to drink and it's not too overpoweringly sweet or, or cloying or anything. So yeah, right, there you go, that was a whistle stop tour of Thursday, uh, of Thursday Bed um, ranging lineup. So we'll run down the list and see what we have. Unfortunately the Pilsen is not on best form, I'm not a fan of that, I'm afraid. It's cheesy and it shouldn't be, that's, that's probably going to be a five, I'm not, not too keen. Um, Panda Bear Gold Nail, um, one of these three at least, the Coco Nibs one. That's a little bit interesting, but again it's a bit, it's a bit surreal really, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm all for experimentation, but maybe not with that. I'm going to give it six and a half, it's still pretty nice, but I probably won't have it again. Um, the Valencia Wheat is a good standard wheat beer, that kind of Blue Moon-esque beer if you want me to call it. Um, I'll give it a seven and a half, it's quite good. The Grizzly Bear Red Ale, I should believe it will be this one. Nice and toasty and roasted, but definitely pop that bone to it. Again, pretty good beer. I'm kind of really going to get a 7.5 as well. It's a good standard version of what it is. The ESB, you cannot deny it. It's a good example of an English style ESB too. Um, it's not my sort of beer, but I can see it's, I can see it's done the job very well. I'm probably going to get that an 8 actually. It's a pretty good example of an English style beer. I'm loving the fact they did it with nitrogen. Um, the Howard Street IPA is very dank and very piney. But again, I quite enjoy it. It's pretty good. Another good example. That's another seven and a half. The um, Kozlov Stout. I love that some nitrogen. It's got some good flavours. It's a nice roasty dry style Irish stout. I would imagine is, is how I'd pan it at least. And I like that a lot. That's probably an eight out of ten too. Um, two nitrogen beers are really tasting good. Um, I've got the name of this one. 
think, I can't remember what it's called, but the little kind of session session beer, again, no fan, I'm afraid. It's just doesn't tell something there, it's probably another five. And then the final one on the list will be the, um, the barley wine that they just produced. That's a good one, that's got some nice flavours, it's definitely surprising considering the colour. I'm going to give that an eight and a half, but I would, I would have a cup, yeah, I'd, I'd try a, a full glass and probably enjoy it. Could be doing a bit warmer though. So there you go. That's the Thirsty Bear, in a nutshell, probably a very long video. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Please like, favourite, comment and subscribe. Until the next bear review, cheers everyone.